Here's a quick one, just comparing some Tom mics. What I did was I took a Tom and put six mics on it. I don't have it set up anymore, so I can't take pictures, But so these pictures aren't so good. But this is basically what I did. Uh, three 421s, a 604, a 57, and there is a overhead as well. Um, this guy is up and off a little bit. This guy is up and down, and this guy is kind of aimed in the way these two are. Um, another angle here, you can see how most 421s you see mounted are kind of like this guy. Uh, and these E604s have their own clips. This looks like it's close to the top of where that clip goes and tilted in a bit. Um, the 57's in with a, a mic ease, and that's clipped onto the edge of the tom here. You can see where kind of like where the edges are and there's one from over the top this is the overhead and down so you can see how these are kind of uh, on this tom so this one's all the way over here while this one's over here uh, I hit the tom right in the middle here they are this is normalized so e each uh, each one I took and just ran it through the audio suite normalize and uh, I put maximum on to bring it up to volume as well so starting with the overhead this is uh, what what they sound like the 57 The 604. The uh, 421 off on the side. And this is a 421 up, uh, and this has it, the roll off on the 421. And this is the 421, it's this one here. So that's the six mics frequency wise, the overhead, fifty seven, six oh four, four twenty one, this four twenty one is this one right here. The 421 with the roll off. And the final 421, which is this one right here. Now we can throw it through VBC. and uh, some verb on it. And finally, channel strip, where you would uh, put uh, a gate on it. And <clears throat> that's basically all it's on it is a gate. So if you bring in this EQ, and this is a crazy EQ, the huge boost here. So you, obviously you can get whatever you want out of the the raw signal. Depending on what kind of sound you're looking for. Now if you took this EQ and threw it on this 57... That's the 604. There, there's different places where this is going to work.
uh, depending on how hard you hit it as well. So there's all kinds of factors to consider. I I was liking the 421 aimed in like these other guys were instead of the one over the top. This one in normal position. I don't think it got as much of the lows as this did. And then add in the overhead along with it. So for me, um, I just got these 421s and I'm going to have to play with them more in more situations. But I kind of like how this guy down closer to the side sounded. And I think I'm going to stick with going that route with putting the mic closer to the edge and pointed towards where the drum is hit. As in this picture here, this guy. Where, where you take the the mic and uh, put it to the edge of the drum and then point it towards where they hit the drum. I think that, uh, for me, sounded the best. This right here. Pointed in. Instead of pointed down at the edge, I like more of the attack myself. Um, and the roll-off, I see no reason to use it at all. <laughs> So one more time, the 57. The 604. The 421 up. The 421 roll off. And that's gated, so... Uh, that's why it sounds that way. And the 421 lower and pointed towards the center of the drum. And that's it. Those That's those five mics. Um, you could add in the overhead. And that 421 with the overhead sounds like this. And of course, that's going to get you all your symbols and all that stuff too, for what the overhead is for. And uh, that that'll do it. That's those five mics. Hopefully, this helped you out. It helped me out, and uh, I'll keep uh, trying different uh, configurations and see what works out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.